Hey guys, it's June 17th. Um, I'm starving. Just got off work, lunchtime, and I realized I don't have very much food at all in my fridge. I've got three meals left, some barbecue sauce, some old cherries, and cream cheese, a lemon, and some hummus. <laughs> so I don't know about you guys, but that's not a lot. So we're gonna go shopping today. So here we are at our marketplace of choice. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but I don't like spending a lot of money on food. Uh, when you eat four, five, six meals a day, you can't be spending 10 bucks on a meal like uh, a lot of restaurant, fast food places, or even places like Publix expect you to be doing. So first rule, buy in bulk. Gotta buy in bulk. Save a lot of money in the long run. The memberships are cheap, and you definitely, definitely get the same product, if, if not even better, and you just get more of it for a better price. So we are here today at BJ's Wholesale in Tampa, uh, my market of choice. Let's head on in. Hello. Hey guys, so I got uh, Kendra with, with me today. We're doing some uh, bargain, bargain hunting. Um, I'm gonna set my budget at $100 because we're all broke college students. And uh, I think I could feed myself for at least two weeks on 100 bucks. And I know that sounds like a lot, but it really isn't. It goes pretty quick. But we're gonna see what we can make it last. And Kendra here has got a notebook. So she's gonna be writing down the different deals that she can get here today. And so here we go. So we're walking around, starting out here. Um, with Crohn's, it's pretty difficult for me to eat really high fiber, high iron uh, foods. I really try to stay away from dark leafy greens. Um, stay away from flour, any type of stuff like that. Uh, Kendra, do you have any? <laughs> do you have any sicknesses to any food? Any sort of stuff you can't eat, don't like to eat, makes you feel bad? If I eat too much junk food, I start to feel really mm. sick, groggy, bloated. But it's cheap, and that's what my problem is. I like to eat fast. I'm always on the go, so I like fast food. Things you can warm up in the microwave. But I notice the more I eat that stuff, the worse I feel inside. Mm. All right, so we're gonna stay clean today, is what you're saying? Yeah. Uh, we'll try mm. to. We'll try to. <laughs> in front of the boost and like the supplemental drink thing. So Nick, do you take any of? The, do you recommend this kind of stuff? No. It's all sugar. This is all sugar. Protein bars, drink mixes, Boost, Advantage, EAS, Ensure, Glucerna. It's great if you have diabetes or any sort of other ailment that requires you to keep your blood insulin levels at a certain level, but even these Cliff Bars, even these Golines, how many grams of sugar in each in each bar? Um, I do sugar. I don't know, where is it? Oh, eight grams. Eight grams of sugar in a 45 gram bar. So 20% of that whole bar is sugar. Not good, so not good. Don't get this kind of stuff, even though it looks like it's good for you and it says go lean, apparently according to Nick, it's bad for you. So you're not allowed to move yeah. this butter. Okay. So why'd you, why'd you choose that one, Kendra? Um, I chose this because it's bigger. And so I can get a better bang for my buck. All right, so how much is that one per pound? Um, $1.92. $1.92, okay. So regardless of the fact that it's extra crunchy peanut butter and it's basically Satan's peanut butter, <laughs> we have also this option right here of the natural stuff. Have you checked that out? Um, yeah, I usually pass by this kind of stuff when I'm shopping because I just assume it's going to be more expensive, so. Mm. It is more expensive, but what do you notice about the nutrition label? I noticed that it's just a lot healthier. The ingredients uh, are more pure. It just has peanuts. Mm -hmm. And the other one has all kinds of other stuff that's probably not good for you. Yeah. So this is like eating a pure peanut that's been churned up, and your I guess your body would get more out of this, even though it's a little more pricey. So you have to weigh that whether you want the more natural ingredients and the higher fiber content, less sugar, versus more product at a lower price because you're just paying for those extra additives. Yep, so I think I'll choose this. So what happens, your brain is wired to like very saturated fats and very 
simple sugars. And so your body, when your body starts to crave those and you give it to your body, your body will only be able to accept those things. So when you start eating fast food more and more consistently, you'll stop having that bad reaction to the fast food. So what you have to do is train your body to start loving the wholesome food and start hating the fast food. And it's a process. It's not something that's going to happen overnight. And you might have to force feed yourself some ovens. <laughs> Big whoop. But you'll get used to it and you'll love it in the long run. And your body will love so it. So if you want to add some flavor to healthy foods such as plain oatmeal or something like that, would Splenda be a good choice to add some sweetness mm. to something? Okay, so... Um, what's the main ingredient in Splenda? Well, I think there's only actually two or three ingredients. It looks like the main ingredient is... Oh, I don't know. Where is it? Okay. Um, maltodextrin and second sucralose? Sucralose and maltodextrin. Have you ever heard of a maltodextrin tree or a sucralose plant? No. <laughs> Neither have I, so... I would go with more like of a natural option right above you. It's actually, that's coconut palm sugar. If you use that as a sweetener really in anything, any type of pies that you make, bake, uh, the glycemic load on something like that sugar is gonna be a lot less than something like a Splenda. And it's not cooked up in a lab, it's just extracted from, from plants that you can grow in your backyard. Oh, Gallon. Kendra, no, 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 no. Get away, get away, get away. <laughs> Get away. This is the kind of thing that a broke college student needs. It's quick, it's fast, and it'll fill you up, let's right? The, let's look at the nutrition facts of the pizza rolls. How many are in one serving, Kendra? How many are in one serving? Um, one serving is six rolls. Six rolls. Okay, so how many would you say that you have in one serving? Wow, probably at least like ten. Oh yeah, I have at least, I'm gonna say at least a dozen. And so if we multiply all that times two, how many carbohydrates am I having? You're asking the wrong person about that. I'm looking at, I'm looking at 60 carbohydrates in 12 rolls. That's ridiculous. Let's get out of here while we still can. So we're looking at these, um, these Franks and BJs. And what draws your attention first? What are you looking at? Well, I would go for this because I'm just looking at the price. Like I just never price. look at the nutrition. I would go for this. $3.99, cheapest, best bang for my buck. That's okay, well, one. if you didn't worry about money, where, where would you go? If, I, if money was not an option, I would probably go for something that's more on the real side without as many preservatives. Preservatives like this. Like actual real sausages. Yeah. Okay. But, okay. Well, let's see if we can find something in the middle. Okay. You see this? You see the. So these are breasts. They're thin sliced, pre packaged. The more packaging you have, the more preparation you have, the more expensive it's going to be. How much is that per pound? $3.99. Now, if you just buy the normal chicken breast, how much is that per pound? $1.99. So basically, you just can't be lazy and you have to do your own packaging. Don't pay the extra money for you to be lazy. Pretty much. Um, even this, even these kinds, that's $179. Um, and this has the, the skin and the bone still in it. So to me, the extra 20 cents is worth the bone and skin already taken out. But sometimes you want to leave that on there on purpose for the flavor. I used to eat a lot of yogurt. I don't like Greek yogurts. Uh, Look at the, what's the third ingredient in the yo play? Please don't do this to Come me. on, do it. I come on, come on, come on. I like yo This is a learning process. I don't want to give it up. Come I'm on. not giving it up. You don't have to give it up. It's hard and pasteurized grade A, reduced fat, milk, sugar, sugar. sugar. modified, sugar. Sugar. Vitamin D3. Sugar is the third ingredient in all of them. Now go to the, uh, try the Wellesley Farms Organic Greek Yogurt Plain. And what are the ingredients in that one? Cultured, pasteurized, organic, grade A, non-fat milk, contains live and active cultures. What is that? Probiotics. Wow, that's it. Mm. And milk. Okay, so what, what, do you, what does that make you think? 
It makes me think this is going to be really gross. Um, so we're in the fruit section and I think I'm going to make a healthy snack bowl. Um, if I have a sweet tooth to only eat a parfait that has fruit, yogurt, and granola. And it'll be better for me filling and I like the taste of that so I'm willing to do that and make that sacrifice to be healthy. So no extra sugar, no extra sodium, no extra additives, just fruit, the natural sugar, natural fiber, the yogurt, the probiotics, and the granola with the extra carbohydrates. So there's a main difference between fruit sugars and additive sugars such as glucose and high fructose corn syrup that you have in sodas and all sorts of other snacks. Um, the sugar that you get with fruit comes with a lot of fiber and extra natural ingredients that helps your body digest the sugar slowly. The sugar in a soda hits your body a lot quicker, the insulin response is a lot faster, your body freaks out, doesn't know what to do with it, stores it. The sugar in fruit is digested a lot slower and your body is able to process that over a longer period of time, including all the extra vitamins and minerals that come along with fruit, the more you know. <laughs> All right, all done. Outside, shoppy, healthy shopping 101. All right, Kendra, what'd you get? Um, for how much was it? For about forty-four dollars, I was able to get a big thing of cereal, some asparagus, a big thing of apples, some bread, strawberries, a big thing of Greek yogurt, hummus, and some chicken. So this all should last me for at least two weeks. So really good deal, two or three weeks. Yeah, I'm happy. Goes to show you guys, um, doesn't take a lot to eat healthy. You're gonna have to spend a little bit more at once, but it's gonna pay off in the long run. This is Crohn's Lifter, Kendra. We out of here. Ballin! Oh god. Okay. <laughs>